Hey, it's Haley. And the topic that I chose for this project is the physics of the flute. Now, how is the sound created? Um, sound in music is possible because of standing waves, also known as a stationary wave. Um, a harmonic motion is a wave that is added to that basic fundamental wave. For a flute, most of the sound is created from the embouchure hole. The embouchure is the way your lips are held to the mouthpiece. So, the embouchure hole is this hole at the very top. Embouchure is the way you place your lips. <laughs> Airstream will go in and out of the hole and the air will hit the edge of this hole right here and the air will oscillate within the flute, also known as the bore. <laughs> then the energy is emitted as sound out of the open holes and the end of the flute. Another requirement to get a sound out of the flute is the airstream must match the frequency of the note in order to achieve that note. So if you have kind of a lazy airstream, it doesn't really work. does work. It's way out of tune, but it works. <laughs> so what does the frequency equation of the flute look like? Let me grab this. Sorry. So as you can see, the wavelength is equal to 2L, and L is being the length that the wave travels. Then since the frequency is equal to velocity over wavelength, we can substitute the wavelength or 2L, which ends as our fundamental frequency equation. So how do I produce different notes using this equation? Um, we can see that L is, if L is reduced, then the frequency increases, and since L is the length of the wave that travels, and higher frequency equals higher note, um, opening and closing holes will affect the note. But the velocity, also known as the airstream, affects it more, in my experience. <laughs> so, all right, so these keys affect the note and so does airstream. Let's see. Since the velocity is in the numerator of the equation, that means the faster the airstream, the higher the frequency dash note. The flute usually has the fundamental pitch of C on the staff, and the air jet has a natural frequency where the flute plays strongest, which is at that fundamental pitch. So in changing the airstream, you can change the notes from that fundamental pitch. So one trick that I was taught from my band teacher by Sanson <laughs> is that was really loud. I hope you turned down <laughs> your sound, but you kind of saw in the video, I didn't change my fingering at all. Just by changing the airstream, I jumped up an entire octave. Another thing that will help change notes within the airflow is rolling in. So rolling in like this, rolling in is just making the hole closer to your lips. So if you watch videos of professional flute players, you'll see a lot of the time they kind of move a little bit as they change notes because that'll just help make a clearer sound a more in tune note <laughs> and I did not tune before this so this will help the airstream directly on this edge especially if you're overblowing to get the higher notes it'll help more directly go on the edge and help the air oscillate and get that higher frequency or higher note. So that is all that I have. I hope you learned more about the flute and the physics behind it. And thank you for listening.